Now I'd like to show you a little bit about Office 365, show you some of the things that you can see there. I'm going to log in here as a test student so you can see what's going on here. So after we log on, uh, it comes up there and says Outlook Web App, and then it will look something like this. Uh, this is basically your email. Uh, that's what it comes to first. And uh, so you see here I've sent an email to this test student just saying hi. But you'll see all your email. I mean, this works just like a typical email type program. And you can send email from here. Uh, you can create new email and so on. You also have a calendar here. Here's the calendar. And so you can put information on here if you have a test coming up on August 23rd. You can say something like history. You can create a new event here on August 23rd. And we'll say that's a history test. And that's all you need to do. So you put that on there, and now it's going to show up. Okay. Uh, one thing you may consider, and some of your teachers may do this, they can send you when we have a, we have an internal test calendar for the teachers, so that we're not giving too many tests at one time. We can, and a teacher might send you an invitation to a test. Now it doesn't mean that you can decide whether you'll take the test or not. That's just what it means when you get invited to something on another calendar. But they can send that, and then you can that can automatically go right into your calendar. So that when the teacher schedules a test, it can go into your calendar. If the teacher reschedules that test, it will get changed on your calendar. So uh, this is this can be a very useful thing for you. But that's the calendar. People in Newsfeed. I'm going to skip over that. SkyDrive is where you have your cloud storage. This is where you can store files for access anytime, anywhere. Anywhere you have internet, you can access these files. So let's say that you have a history paper that you've started in school. You can get home, you can open it up here, it will open up in Word Web App, and let's say that here you're going to edit in Word Web App, when you do, then you'll see that document, and you can type, you can type uh, whatever your history notes are, and notice up here at the top you have a lot of the same type of things that you have in full Microsoft Word. Okay, not at quite as many options, but a lot of the main things that you're going to do. So you finish up, and you save that, and then you can close it. And then when you get home or when you get back to school, you can open it and uh, keep on editing it. So that's your SkyDrive account. Uh, it's cloud storage. If you're familiar with Dropbox or you're familiar with Google Drive, it works the same way. So that's how your Office 365 account will work. And uh, you can, again, you can go to the CCS uh, website and go to the BYOD page and it will tell you more information about it.